Thank you. Marsha. with Helen today. An unpleasant one. About us? Yeah. What about us? Oh my God, right in the courtyard. How indiscreet. No, something's wrong. Vincent's leaving today. For where? Where? Doesn't matter. Why is the question? Baltimore. My work here is... His work has very little to do with it. What, you're still here? When are you coming back? Never. He's never coming back. At least not to me, not to us. Marsh. I'm sorry, maybe I was wrong. Was I, uh, was I wrong? Correct me if I'm wrong. All right, go ahead. This wasn't my idea. If this has to end with open wounds for you, go ahead. Actually, it wasn't, um, it wasn't Vincent's either. It was his poor, crazy wife's idea. You don't mind if I call her that, do you? Well, it seems that, uh, <laughs> crazy Helen was praying one day and God told her to take her two little girls away from their slut-mongering father. So, it was really God's idea. And you know what that makes me? Even a certifiable woman like Helen would win custody of the girls in a divorce proceedings. What, with Vincent having bopped me a few times a week for several months now? Better a crazy mother than a corrupt father, I guess. I should stop this. I'm all out, but I'm almost through. So divorcing Crazy Helen was out because Vincent loves his girls, and Crazy Helen knows that. And murdering Crazy Helen was out because Vincent's one of those sensitive husbands, so that left deserting me. You know I love you, Marsha. You know this is terrible. Oh, I out. know, I know. But you can't have both, right? Like, um, like when I was a little girl, Father used to say, you can have either the chocolate bunny or the glazed Easter egg. But I cried for both, and I got nothing. So you see, you're right, Vincent. You're doing the sensible thing. I can't give up my girls, you know? It's not simply because I don't want to be deprived of their company. It's not that selfish. I can't have them growing up under the influence of their mother. They're such good, bright girls. It would just be too destructive for them. So I have to make the sacrifice. And unfortunately, so does Marsha. If there were any way that I could bear this alone, believe me, I would. I've enjoyed making your acquaintance again as adults, and uh, I hope that my girls grow up to be as close, mutually supportive as you three sisters. And I love your sister. Deeply. Laura's it never would have come to this. I hope you believe that. Of course we do, Vincent. Yes, Vincent, of course. I know you'll make a fine chance, though. 
Thank you, Vincent. Goodbye. I hope you and David will be happy. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you will be too. Marcia? Would you walk me out? Help me find a cab? I see. I'm all right. Okay. It's all right. Come on, we'll put you in a cab. 